Here in Jakarta, Indonesia, so-called fogging is used regularly when there's been a severe outbreak of dengue in a particular neighborhood. It does have a short-term effect, but it tends to just push the problem to another area. Right now, the strategies that we have against dengue is very difficult to implement. So all of these are taking a toll on the environment, and it's very expensive also. In fact, about $6 billion is spent globally every year trying to control the mosquito population. And until now, it's been the only weapon against dengue fever. So scientists are experimenting with more innovative ways to control the mosquito population. They're looking into biological control, from genetic modification to infecting the mosquitoes with a common bacterium to stop them transmitting deadly diseases. They're even developing new odors based on human body odor to foil the insects. These mosquitoes have been infected with deadly fungi. I think these other measures, mosquito control, genetically modified mosquitoes, community participation, getting the community involved in dengue control, the way we design cities, um, all of these are going to be very important in controlling dengue infection in the next 20 years. But it's also true that a vaccine would be truly transformative for this disease. Around the world, other teams of scientists have also been battling to find a working vaccine, using different approaches to tackle the complex disease. At last, after 70 long years, a vaccine against dengue is available.